I should be recording. What's going on, Sifted YouTube, Twitters, Facebook, all the social media peeps? It is I, the Burkhoff, and tonight we're doing something a little special. So about a year ago, year and a half ago, um, maybe even two years ago now that I think about it, I did a quick little video, um, basically me trying to get DOSBox to run on Chrome OS. And I ran into a problem, and that is the DOSBox Chrome app or extension to Chrome is not very good. Um, and it's difficult to work with, and I could not get Daggerfall to run. So uh, last week, um, I got a comment on one of my Final Fantasy VIII videos, and uh, it was a subscriber that was wondering, what happened to that? Did you ever get DOSBox running in Chrome OS? The answer to that question is no, I haven't tried since then, but I took the time this weekend to go back through and figure out what is this possible and what do I need to do to make this happen. So um, I did some digging and in modern Chrome OS devices, as long as you have something that's not ARM powered, uh, if it has like an Intel Celeron or an x86 processor, chances are you have the ability to enable Linux inside Chrome. Uh, basically, all you do is go to Chrome, colon, slash, slash, settings, search for Linux. You'll see this um, uh, option here. It says Linux beta. Um, there'll be a button to enable it uh, if you haven't enabled it before. Um, and then what that does is it... it builds a container inside of Chrome OS that you can use that gives you access to Chrome applica or Linux applications. And that includes a regular Linux terminal. Um, and this is, it's based on Debian. So you have uh, apt-get as your um, software, uh, your means of in installing software, which means that you can do sudo apt-get install dosbox uh, I already have it installed as I've already gone through this once before <laughs> um, I will go ahead and jump into the um, dosbox configuration just to show you now I'm on my Chromebook pixel or my pixel book so um, this is a little bit different um, than what you might um, what you might experience with other Chromebooks. Um, the Chromebook Pixel has a high DPI monitor, so I've had to go in and change the window resolution to be what would seem like an absurd resolution, uh, 1536 by 1280. Um, the other thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to change the um, output from surface to overlay. Um, you're also going to want to change auto lock from true to false so that you can actually use the mouse inside of DOSBox once you have that installed. Uh, a few of the other things that I've changed um, are basically based on what Bethesda has included in their um, in their instructions for installing Daggerfall in DOSBox. Um, so that is like in upping the memory to 32 megabytes from 16. Um, I want to say there were a few other changes that I made, but I can, uh, go ahead and copy and paste this, uh, this comp file into like a paste bin or something if somebody's interested. Um, and then you guys can see what that looks like. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and get out of that. Once you have DOSBox installed, um, you're going to want to download Daggerfall. So basically just go to the Elder Scrolls website, Bethesda's uh, official website for Daggerfall. There's a link right there, download the full game. You get a zip file. Um, you're going to want to download that. Once you've enabled Linux and Chrome, you're going to want to download that to Linux files. Essentially what this is is, is just an LN or a link, a sim link to your home directory inside of the container. Um, you'll get the zip file, go ahead and extract the zip file. There's two folders. One is dagger and the other is DFCD. 
Dagger is where the program or where Daggerfall installs to. DFCD is the CD-ROM itself. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do that real quick. I'm going to launch DOSBox, and I'm going to show you guys that it actually does run. Um, also, you don't have to launch it from the command line. The nice thing is once you have it installed, uh, Chrome will actually recognize your... Uh, your Linux applications that are installed in it and it'll give it, it'll give you access to it in the main menu. So I can just launch DOSBox from here and it runs. And this is actually the, the Linux application that's installed. So we're going to go ahead and mount the C directory. Um, you're going to want to use the, the Unix Linux path. So I'm using the tilde slash DOS games. That's my, my home directory DOS games. DOS games is the folder that I dumped um, the dagger and DFCD folders into. So I'm going to mount that as my C drive. I'm going to mount the, the D drive or the, the CD-ROM, which is going to be, in my case, DOS game slash DFCD. The type is going to be CD-ROM and the label. And this is important. The label has to be Daggerfall and it has to be a capital D. Otherwise, it's going to not recognize it as an official CD. So go ahead and mount that. We'll go to D. We'll run the install. I'll show you guys that it actually does run. Um, and you'll see I, I do have mouse control. This is by disabling auto lock. You don't get, um, you don't get the, the touch to tap or touch to click. That functionality is not in here. I'm assuming there might be some config files inside of the Linux container that I can mess with. Um, maybe like X input or something that I can actually enable um, tap to click. But um, for the purposes of this, I haven't done that. You basically just touch down, actually click the touchpad and you'll you'll have uh, mouse, bu mouse button functionality. I have not messed around with any of the install sizes. I've just gone with minimum. So yes, we want to install it. It's going to install it in that same folder um, that's already created when you extract the zip file. So I'm going to go ahead and install that. We'll let this run. It doesn't take and doesn't take too long, at least on this Pixel Book. I mean, these are pretty powerful. Um, they're a bit overkill for a Chromebook, but I mean, clearly I'm running Linux apps and Daggerfall, so. It's kind of important for me to have it. So we'll let this install. Um, one of the things that one of the issues that I ran into before was not having any sound. I'm going to get into that a little bit, um, and that's going to vary depending on what type of a Chromebook you have. And I have not tried this on my Samsung Chromebook three yet to see if that works. Um, the Samsung Chromebook three does have an x86 processor, so I'm assuming this should work because uh, I am able to enable Linux apps on that. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and auto detect our sound. It does find a sound blaster. This is with default DOSBox settings. So we'll go ahead and test the sound here. Rest well this night. For tomorrow you sail for the kingdom of Daggerfall. So as you can see, it actually does work. This is exciting, and I'll show you why it's exciting in a minute. So, okay, installation is complete. When you're in C Dagger, go ahead and launch Dagger. And voila, here is Daggerfall. Now, the frame rate sucks a little bit on this because I'm actually not connected to my Pixelbook. I'm using Zoom to screen share to my desktop while I record this. Um, it actually is pretty responsive, um, and why wouldn't it be? I mean, got a pretty insane processor and tons of memory in this thing. So, uh, again, uh, results may vary depending on what type of a Chromebook you have. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is the the full game here. And it runs just fine. So we can run through all these settings here. Answer the questions to get our class. Now, 
Now, I have not tried this in full screen mode. If you just expand the window, it doesn't actually uh, stretch the window at all or stretch the, the output of DOSBox. Um, I'll have to mess around with that and see if I can get it full screen so that I can get a full um, a full experience with the game. Uh, the one thing that I would highly recommend, though, using the touchpad sucks. Uh, so if you're going to be playing a game like da Daggerfall or if you're going to install Doom or something like that, um, you probably want to get like a type C USB to regular USB hub or adapter and plug a regular mouse in to be able to play with it. Um, so, uh, as I was saying, the sound is exciting because, um, before a few updates ago, there was no access from the container to the Chromebooks hardware. Um, and if you actually go to, um, the official Linux beta setup uh, and documentation. Uh, if you scroll down on the bottom, check what's not supported yet. Speakers, microphones, cameras, and USB devices are not supported yet. However, um, I did some digging inside of the Chrome OS dot or the Chromium OS docs, and apparently, with um, Termina version eleven seven oh seven you can get sound to work and it's just a matter of clearing out the default pulse config file uh, that was in there that basically just gave it a null audio device um, once you do that you um, go into uh, a cross or a crosh a chrome sh terminal i guess this is like google's version of bash uh, and then just vmc stop termina and it stops the process and then uh, VNC start termina and then uh, it'll launch that process again and then you can exit out and just use it normally um, the way that you check to see if your uh, cross or cross uh, terminal or termina component is the right version is simply go to chrome colon slash slash components. It's right here at the bottom. Uh, this happens to be version 12.105, and the Chromium OS docs are saying that as of 11.707, um, the sound is available. So, yeah, I mean, that's super exciting. I finally got it working. Uh, the way to do it is by installing the, the Linux apps inside of uh, Chrome OS. Um, the nice thing, too, if you've got the space like a Pixelbook has, um, you can do all kinds of things. Like I installed LibreOffice so that I had a local office suite that I could use that's a little bit better than uh, Google Docs. And it functions and works just like it would on a normal Linux desktop install. Um, like I said, the apps do show up here. Um, I've even got GIMP, which runs surprisingly well, and Visual Studio Code, because I'm crazy, and I wanted to install Microsoft's coding program. I actually really like Visual Studio Code. I think it's probably one of the best uh, scripting editors um, that I've used. So there's that. Um, you can install a whole host of applications, uh, regular Debian Ubuntu apps. Um, and yeah, I expect I'll probably play around a, a bit with Daggerfall, but um, not having a type C USB mouse or a type C USB to USB adapter to plug in a regular mouse. Uh, it's not going to be the most enjoyable experience, but I thought that I would at least share that I have explored the option and wanted to share this for you know the subscriber that was asking me, have I actually gotten DOSBox to run? Yes, I have. And thankfully, it didn't require too much hacking. <laughs> um, I guess the other, the other option would be to um, set your Chromebook into developer mode and then do a crouton uh, install uh, of a whole other uh, CHroot Linux environment. And you should be able to get it to run that way. Although um, I haven't tested that yet. It seems a bit overkill to play DOS games. So um, 
I mean, I'd rather just play around with uh, Steam games and see what I can get to run that way. But um, yeah, if you guys like the video, let me know. Um, I can always do more tutorials and more videos like this if anybody's interested. Um, again, I went through this kind of quick. I'll be happy to share any config files or um, maybe detail out some of the steps uh, if anybody gets stuck or they want to try this themselves. Um, I will be trying it with my Samsung Chromebook 3 just to see if it works uh, similar to the Pixelbook. Um, that is a little bit older device. Um, doesn't have quite the same power that the Pixelbook does. So it'll be interesting to see if it, if it does work. Like I said, it is isn't. It is a 64-bit processor. It's not an ARM-based machine. I think that's going to be the main caveat. Um, and then space. So uh, depending on how much storage capacity your Chromebook has, you may not want to do this just because installing the Linux uh, apps on the system does take up, I think, around a gig or two gigs. And then uh, if you're installing Linux applications inside of that container, uh, again, you're going to you know, eat through that you know, 16 gigs or 8 gigs pretty quickly. Um, so yeah, that's the video. I hope uh, everybody enjoyed it. Uh, please feel free to comment. Um, hit me up on Twitter. Send me a direct message. Like I said, if you're having any problems, I'll be happy to help. And on that note, I'm out.